Hey, what's up, everybody? Since it's they've changed so much about how Auto Patch works and the setup, we're gonna to go through a nice, fresh, clean, and a brand new tenant. It's our workplace ninjas US tenant event, December 9th. So I'm inside of Tenant Admin Auto Patch Groups. I'm gonna click Create because we're setting it up brand new. I'm just gonna call it whatever we want to call it. Doesn't matter. So. This is really interesting because it makes zero sense. So if we want to do dynamic distrib group distribution, which is, you know, kind of the point, right? I'm going to just select all users. Doesn't really matter. See, now it says, it tells, it doesn't really, not real clear. So what you got to do is you add a deployment ring and you just do like a hundred. So like, let's do it like this. So do it the right way. So like we do like 60. Thirty ten. So this has to add up to hundred. Like I said, super not intuitive. Then update types. What's interesting is what a lot of the environments that have been transitioned over I've seen, feature updates has actually been disabled, which is kind of hilarious. But looks like brand new tenants now, it's actually checking it. Then under deployment settings, it asks you what you want. So yep, let's target 24H2. We'll use the same approval method for all rings, auto approve. We'll use the same channel for all the point rings for edge. You can do whatever you want to do there. Now, these are a little confusing, but really not that bad. So what's kind of cool that they have now is that so you can configure different stuff for each thing. So this is for Windows update. We're just going to set one of them. So you see, you can do like schedule install. You know, you can say every week. You know, we'll just say, so say we want to say every week, then on Tuesdays, 10 p.m. So you can see that's how those how those work for the Windows updates. What's kind of cool too is they have these presets. So like I said, they're making it easier and easier. You can see it gets a little different as we look at different things. So for quality, you can just basically set your deferrals. So just kind of set them for whatever you want. Feature updates, same deal. Tells you here, Microsoft recommends zero, modifying the feature policy. Then for app updates, you can kind of do the same thing. Really, however you want to do it. You can even hide, hide update notifications. You're going to hit review and create. Then we're going to hit create. And so it creates that. And so you can see here it says in progress. And I'll show you what happens once it's done. Okay, so now you can see it's, in act, it's on active. Just shows you your group distributions. So what we can do now is if we go in... We go to configuration, not configuration, but go to Windows updates rather. You can see here is it, it's kind of created a bunch of stuff. So you can see these little update rings. What's really important is that you kind of go and look at the different policies and check out like the settings because it's not of it, not all of it is super obvious. This is feature update policy. You can see it's took the settings that you set. So we'll go look at quality updates. So there's our driver update policy. So we'll check out the main update policy. You can just so you can see all the stuff that it actually sets, which is always really important to just to have a good understanding as to what exactly it's setting. It is fun to check these out because we looked at every, pretty much everything else. You can see monitor will show reports. And you can see here too is that it has a whole drill down scenario. And then under releases, the quality update and feature update will get, will pop in here. And it's not quite done. And what's neat is you can click a button and it'll take you right into the, uh, the ability to manage your policies, which is pretty cool. 
pretty neat. Until stuff is really fully rolled out, some of this ends up being a little bit strange. But totally okay. And that's all you really have to do to roll out auto patch. And you can see here is you can customize it fully and kind of bend it to your will. It's a little more complicated than it was originally when they first released it, but still pretty good and mostly set it and forget it.